Hi Pisces, welcome back to Key Wisdom Tarot. My name is Ruth and I'm your Reiki Master and Tarot Reader. This Pisces is your bi-weekly general reading for the time between October the 25th and November the 11th, 2018. I'm going to draw six cards initially. The first three are going to relate to the time in October and the second three are going to relate to the time in November. I've already shuffled the cards um, and <laughs> I've already meditated, etc. But I will do that again on camera. I, a few little things came through, actually. So this is a general reading, but you know, you, you never know what you'll get. It might turn out to be love. But I'll try and look at the energies and you obviously just apply it and um, how it sits with you. Okay, Pisces? Um, <laughs> I feel nervous for some reason. Not nervous. I'm excited. I'm giddy for you. So I don't know if that's, mm, I don't know. Let's have a look. Mm, that one's definitely yours, babe. Definitely yours, that one is. Yeah, no, they're ready now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm laughing. I, I mean, I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing for something, I don't know. Oh, this better be a good reading. Now I'm laughing at you, but I hope if we get all, if we might get a devil. Send it. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So we've got the Empress, three of swords. That's in the past, darling. Oh gosh, three, 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 darling, three, three, three. Well, 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 Pisces. Let me talk about the number three first of all, okay, before we look at the individuals. So three is a master number. And I always say, whenever we see a number three, it's the universe drawing our attention to something. It's a synchronicity that's asking, that's demanding our attention with number three. There's something that we need to see, realize, do, um, know, etc. cetera. Um, so this is, this is interesting. It's interesting. Um, with the so we've got the empress first of all so the empress um on the tree of life she would be um hang on uh Katha. wisdom understanding she would be understanding so well as i just said you've, there's something you've got to understand um with the number three and something you've got to know you've got to work out it's not it's not clear yet actually um pisces to you what you want or you don't think it's clear or you're not allowing yourself to to resonate with that clarity the empress though is aware so this awareness might come to you um this awareness might come to you this week potentially or in the month of october there's something that you're that you've been sort of waiting to realise or you've been waiting to find out or you've been waiting to happen, um, waiting to experience. And it may be connected to um, a relationship from your past or a, a past betrayal or more specifically, um, it is about this feeling of disempowered. I, 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 I use that as a shorthand for the Three of Swords to say something that makes us feel disempowered, something that weakens us. Because I think for me, it just really sums up very clearly that, that this is something that we all feel all the time or we all think of ourselves. We all There's always something that at times we think back to and we think, oh gosh, you know, um, I can't believe I did that or I can't believe that was me or I can't believe that happened or whatever it is. And it's always it's a real it's a sad card is number three because we just we do just carry the we can carry these things round and whenever we get the three of swords it's about coming into the awareness swords are about our thoughts our minds our clarity our communication and our consciousness what we allow ourselves to think what we allow ourselves to know what we allow ourselves to recognize and to be aware of listen love we're all saying babe i'm like you i'm a human person like you <laughs> i might not sound like it darling but i am and, um, <laughs> and we all of us all of us have um have things that we don't want to we just don't want to think about we don't want to accept we don't want to oh we don't want to think about 
we don't want to remember that person we went on a date with. Like, he was horrible or whatever. Or we don't want to, like, think about how low we felt about our time, our, ourselves at that time, for example. So there's all different, there's lots of different examples of, of, of what this disempowerment can be and what this lack of awareness is like and what this, when we close up, when we, we turn a blind eye to things, we turn a blind eye to that thought or to that feeling or to that emotion or to that action and we don't ever, ever like to consider it. And, and it's as if, Pisces, you're coming into awareness um, in the month of October. And it's and it really is fundamentally something for you to celebrate. I mean, for some of you, you know, the cups... I, I, there's two things I've got to say. The cups energy is about our emotions, okay? It's about what we love, our hearts, you know, our, our intuition. So it could be you coming into an awareness of... Um, of love, of passionate feelings for somebody, of, you know, feeling good, feeling happy, feeling in love. It could be that you're coming into that type of awareness, you know, knowing that you that you love someone, recognising those feelings. It could be recognising, for example, that this has held you back from the type of relationships that you want, from the type of commitments that you want. It could be that you, you, Pisces, you know, if you who lives like all the water signs with their emotions is very comfortable in that space it might be that really you have you have not really considered the impact of this event for you and this could be something that happened many 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 years ago or it could have been something that happened recently to you um but it's as if you've not considered before the impact um and the the effect that this that this event has had and and in moving forward in being able to have other relationships or other other successes in your life something that keeps you stuck and it, that clarity getting that realization is 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 with is what this shows and it shows that you get this clarity and this realization and and it is something that you can celebrate because it's something that you can leave behind so you're starting a new cycle it looks like it looks like you're coming to the end of something um and or this is on the back on the back of something, if that makes sense. So we have the Empress, which is the time of harvest, isn't it? We've just had the harvest full moon actually, um, and in September, and yeah, with the Empress card, with these cards here lining up, it's showing that you're coming into awareness. You're, and that's something that you are very happy about and it's something that's going to change what you do it's something that's going to change how you live from now on so if you're someone who is perpetually um a loner on your own isolated you know you isolate yourself for example from people um it might be that you realize you start to see why you've started isolating yourself from people and then it might be something that you want to change now and you will behave differently from from this day forth if that makes sense or whatever it is for you specifically a realization is gonna a realization of what has been hurting you what has been leaving you feeling stuck vulnerable unable that's how you felt in the past it's like coming into that realization actually really changes things for you completely you know so that's really positive so let's have a look in um november we've got the chariot card i i posted and uploaded a video about the meaning of the number seven um and i really urge you to check it out i talk about all the sevens including the chariot and there's some information below actually about it you can just read it if you want and we talk about the balance of the number seven and we talk about the or the imbalance of the number seven and the fact that the seven is about the mysteries about understanding who you are where you come from why you are the way you are why the world is the way it is that's the mysteries of life okay that's what we call about the mysteries and number seven is about understanding those and how they apply to you so as i said who you are what what you're doing etc what motivates you you know what's authentically you and what is something that you've just become because of things that happened in the past um yin and yang so we've got this um i think in in the video or, or below i say it's um the difference between being authentically you and being a contrived version of yourself and it's about with the number seven with the chariot you're moving through the energy of of recognizing that you're moving through the energy of recognizing what has motivated you in the first place what's motivated you to be here and um, what's motivated you to be 
to find the status quo that you have thus far lived up to so whether it's as i said you perpetually isolating yourself or you're perpetually around people all the time or you're always single or you're always in a relationship or whatever or you're always unemployed or you're always in a job that you hate or whatever it is your situation that you're in it's like you you realize that you're only in that situation because of this and that awareness is it's hard to come to that awareness because it's, it's necessary for us because once we come into that awareness that balance with the chariot we can move forward we can move into a new karmic cycle um but it's that is unsteadying the chariot energy is unsteadying the number sevens are unsteadying because we it does make us question you know well who am i then because i've been doing this all these years and i thought this was me and i thought this is what i wanted but actually I realise now that I don't want this and it's not who I am, so then who am I? And it can be scary. Those questions can frighten us, but they're, nece they're necessary because it's, the, again, a victory with the number seven. It's moving into the number eight, which is a new karmic cycle, isn't it? So remember that as you enter November, and these energies, this is what you could be experiencing now. Sorry about that, Pisces. Um, the film ran out. So... I was saying that this is could be something that you're experiencing now. Um, it doesn't have to be something that's necessarily necessarily in October. I mean, oh, excuse me, November. You know your life, but the challenge with the number sevens, as I said, they they're challenging, but they they help us to move into new areas of life, new understanding. So if you now have a a, a greater understanding of who you are of what of that these are the some of the things that motivated you to to be where you are then you can then make decisions in a different way in the future and that's why it's positive even if it's challenging with the with the, the chariot it is a victory it's an important thing that you must experience it, uh, because again it leads you closer to who you are it uncovers you further for yourself wow We've got the Ace of Cups next, haven't we? So that's amazing, isn't it? So this is really where you could be moving to. Yes, a new, a new, yes, a new relationship. Let's say that, okay? You could be moving into a new relationship, yeah, with somebody else, blah blah blah. But it could be just as well um, a new love of self. You know, this this new beginning, this new start of of feeling differently about yourself. You know, we're eclipsing out this energy of the three of swords now. It's like, okay, I'm aware now. You're aware now, Pisces, of what you've been through, what you've been thinking about yourself, and that this event that happened or this betrayal that happened, this heart, this upset that made you who you are up to this point, you're realising that you can overcome it and you can have a new beginning. And it's overwhelming when that happens. It's beautiful when that happens because you really see the the difference when when we say do the work this is what we mean it's coming into these realizations it's accepting that these realizations were necessary and it's and it's and it's challenging and changing yourself to incorporate these realizations well you can't live the same way you used to live now you know that you only did that because she brought your heart or whatever it is for you okay so you've got to like you've got to be that's why it's so important that we have energies like the, the chariot and then you've got this idea as i said this new beginning this new love that's coming through it could be with as i said with another person or it could be new love for you you know just like you loving yourself more okay and finally wow you've you you've got a bit coming towards you actually um in the month of november these changes can be unsettling um but you've you've you you've <laughs> you they can be unsettling these changes um the exposure of the of the judgment card is 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 wow really the exposure of that card because here there's no hiding from yourself there's no hiding from you know from who you are from where you're at there's no escape from it but again it brings you understanding. It brings you into awareness of why you are where you are, who you are, you know, why you behave the way that you do, you know, why you find yourself in these situations. And really, threefold happiness is what's coming for you. You know, once you get these revelations, once you get this clarity, this understanding, you and, and this awareness 
you, there's no stopping you because you you just live differently you're more positive in your life in your in the way in the things that you do and you know really for you that is what you need um pisces you need this awakening because you, you you've been it's an interesting one it's like your pisces is like emotion yeah pisces is about as above so below pisces is about the balance of you know my your thoughts your minds and also your emotions be and those two things being in balance and those two things being in check and it feel and it, it seems like for some of you the the emotion has been taken over for, for for a lot of you in that you haven't really checked in that, that those two things are still connected and those two things are still in sync and i think that you've been telling yourself that well you know i just want to be um married for example i just want to be married or i just want to you know have these children or whatever and emotionally you've been ignoring the fact that you're not really ready for that or whatever your particular situation is do you know what i mean so it's like there's been a bit of an imbalance between or a disconnect between what you think and really how you're feeling and that disconnect is, is going to be coming it's going to come to the fore and you're going to recognize it um and it might be that meeting somebody you know or connecting with somebody i mean this can relate to reunions i didn't say that before you know the three of cups can relate to reunions and getting back so maybe it could be and and, and judgment can be related to apologies as well so you know it essentially there could be some sort of reunion going on for some of you pisces i think we had a similar theme in your um love reading actually for Oct uh, for for october uh, there could be some sort of reunion potentially or apology being given with the judgment card people saying oh right okay I've ch i know what i did now i'm sorry etc you know there could be that sort sort of energy going on um but whatever that is it's 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 going to help you to see and to realize that there's things within you that you're not happy with really um and that you want to that you want to change you want to bring forward a change in i mean but they're excellent i mean it's it, it, so it's going to be it can be hard it can be challenging some of these energies can be quite a challenge but it's healing i mean i'd be like bring it on i mean I, I, to be honest i'd have been like bring it on before september but before october but may i tell you what man chariot in oh don't mess about the chariot it can be quite heavy going but how I feel now, a few weeks later, I'm like, I'm, I feel like this, you know, and I, I was like the chariot at the start of the month and I, I couldn't get out of my bed <laughs> and I couldn't read tarot and I couldn't speak to anyone um, because I was just coming into this awareness and it was quite an emotional time actually. Um, but now I am literally like this. I'm literally like, yeah, man, I'm all good, you know. I'm feeling fabulous, I'm feeling really good and I'm feeling... I am in a way feeling different. It's kind of like, um, you know, birth almost, you know, like birth. Um, and that reminds me, I was going to say this at the start of the video. This could be for some of you, there's been waiting to conceive, you know, you've been trying to conceive a child, trying to, um, you know, have children and you know physically have children so you know you might have usually sometimes i'll say oh you know you've adoption and all that type of thing but this time it's, it's it's really um you know actually you physically having or some you or your partner physically having a child and, and that's been something that's been a cause of distress you've not been able to get pregnant maybe you've not been able to conceive it's been a struggle for you guys uh but it looks like that might be something that's shifting as well it can it can you know talk of movement in that area um this this these type of cards as well so for those of you that are looking i'm not predicting anyone's pregnancies but the energy of you've been trying hard to get this to bring this into fruition and the energies are saying that you know something is might be worth celebrating uh something you know that that is very emotionally and happy time for you that can be exposing as well but um <laughs> but yeah so so i Pisces, I hope you enjoyed that reading. You know, I, I know it cut off halfway through, but that's okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, check out your love readings um up, up for October and I'm also which are already uploaded. And I'm also 
going to upload your November love reading next week. Uh, please like, please share, please comment. Um, I have to go through this list of stuff that I write down. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. There's other videos. Check them out. Pick a card reading, mantra, meanings of the number sevens. Oh, actually do check that out. Um, I've taken the thumbnail. I've taken your thumbnail. Um, if you want to follow me on... Um, insta or facebook it's keywords and tarot and if you would like a what, what's that thing i do private reading with, i'm getting tired do you know what? i'm thinking about food oh my gosh i'm gonna make right after this after i finish working i'm gonna make like i'm gonna have a cup of tea and i'm gonna have um some toast and i'm gonna have crisps like a crisp sandwich right and then tonight late do you know what i've made i've made jollof i've got jollof rice babe i've got i've already got it made babe it's already there i've already got it i've already got it all there made i'm gonna have jollof rice i'm gonna have some nice stew oh my stew it's nice you know because i've had it for a few days and it's like you just like reboil it and reduce it and it's like mm, so tasty and i'm gonna have that and i'm gonna have some chicken with it some nice fried chicken oh I can't stop thinking about food. I need to have some food. Anyway, Pisces, if you want like a personal reading, there is a little bit of a wait, but um, <laughs> there's a little tiny bit of a wait, yeah. But um, my email address is coming to my brain and it is keywisdomtarot at gmail.com. There you go. So thank you, Pisces, for this fabulous, for your attention. No one's watching. I sometimes do this, you know, sometimes talk to myself at the end of videos because I know that no one watches because I know exactly how long, well, not exactly how long, but you get an idea of the watch minutes or how much time people actually spend watching the video. Anyway, darlings, um, I hope you like it. Um, I'm not going to sing for you today for those people still waiting for a sing a song, but I'll tell you what, I have been watching X Factor UK and there's this guy called, um, I want to say Daryl. He's not called Daryl. He's not called Daryl. He's from Jamaica. And he sang the other day anyway on, oh my gosh, um, the um, Moyes, you know, David Bowie. So, na, 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 na. Oh, yeah, look at those. That, that is a freaky show. Life on Moyes, that's the song. <laughs> oh, I can't, stop, I can't stop watching it. I can't stop streaming it on YouTube. I'm loving that song. So I'm voting for him. And if I, if I was a betting woman, which I'm not, even though I used to work in a betting shop when I was a student, if I was a betting woman, Willie Mills, if I was a betting woman, I'd put my money on him to win. He performed last... Oh! I put my money on him to win X Factor any day of the week. Anyway, Pisces, thank you for being here and listening to me ranting on about nothing of any significance. I love you so much. Thank you for your love and support. Have a fabulous few weeks and I will see you again soon, my lovelies. Bye.